Hello everyone, it's Edwina. Um, I'm here today to share you my latest journal. Um, as you know, I'm not the <laughs> greatest um, film at filming. I'm not just. I do my best, but I know I'm not that great. Well, this journal I finished a few days ago. Um, at least four or five, I don't know. And the weather has been so awful. I mean, just so dark, cloudy, foggy, you name it. <laughs> um, but the light has been so poor that I just haven't been able to film it. So in the end, I reluctantly, but needs must, bought myself a daylight lamp. So I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, that the picture, sorry, picture will be much better. Um, well, you can tell me. <laughs> anyway, um, this scrapbooking kit, um, it's called, it's from Stamperia, and it's old lace, and it's the most beautiful kit I think I've ever seen. Um, and I've seen quite a few of Stamperia's, and I do ho have quite a few of them. I don't know how I missed getting this one, but it wasn't until Chopa showed it uh, on her channel, Craft Angel Online, that I, I realised that I just had to buy it and it would be perfect for this journal. And so, let's move it out the way. And here we have my latest journal. There we go. Now, with this one, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to fuse the two things that I love. Lace and journal making. And I hope, I hope I've been successful. Um, I've been inspired by quite a few people. Um, I mean, Chrissy Crosser is the best, and there are several others on YouTube that make most gorgeous lace journals too. Um, one other person I want to mention is Marie, Marie Blundell. Um, she makes the most um, gorgeous journals with lace, and in fact, I have one of well, well maybe two of hers um, because they're they're just lovely. Um, and um, well let's get into it um, so we have some lace to tie it up we have that gorgeous uh, image of um, a dress form um, corset uh, on the front and um, I've uh, done a lot of uh, layering and um, put journal in the corner here and there's some prima flowers um, and um, and then um, um, a, a bee charm at the um, whoops, there you go and um, right that's the front cover okay inside now a friend said to me uh, have I got it in shot? No. A friend said to me, nobody's going to want to carry around that fat thing. <laughs> well, they didn't use the word fat thing, but I think that's what they were implying. Um, well, of course not. Of course not. And you don't have to with this style of journal. You don't have to. Because in this pocket, you have the actual journal. And there's three of these. And... We've got layering on the front with another flower. And then inside, there's lots of pages for writing. And there are, there's a paper bag and um, a doily, some handmade paper, some tuck spots even. There's one there. And um, it's, it's perfect for putting in your pocket and carrying around and you can write to your heart's content. Um, and there's a glassine bag there with pockets that you can 
put anything you want inside. Um, so, and that sits in here, this lace pocket, which has a butterfly on it, and I have tucked in these two tags, and this again, this is from the kit, but I, um, oh, I didn't back that one on coffee paper. Oh, why did I miss that? Never mind. Anyway, and, um, and that tag as well. Right, so that's the first page. Now, in the second page, we have this, um, uh, tuck pocket. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Has a flower, some lace, some little rhinestones, and this bead, um, charm. Journaling card from, um, the kit. A tag I made using paper from the kit. I'm oh, sorry about this. I'm not very good at finding where the camera is. <laughs> and I have coffee back, uh, um, back that onto coffee, uh, back, coffee stain paper. And then also we have some ephemera. Now this wasn't in the kit, but I did my own little research because um, I thought um, if anybody is interested in this kit, they might want to to see the um, real thing, you know, um, these corsets from the past. So that's what um, we have in there. And it's um, got space for writing on the back if desired. I'll leave that out. Right, next page. Now, some of you will recognise this dress form that I made. Let's bring it up to the camera. Uh, is that, can you see it on that page? And um, I did manage to make it a little tuck. There's, an, uh, there's a, a, um, a tag in there. And there's two. I think there's two in here. Or is it just the one? No, there's just the one in there. So uh, I was really pleased about that. And I love making this. And you see this is a really lovely rhinestone piece that I took out of my treasure box. And um, and it was so much fun just creating that. Anyway, uh, I jumped ahead. On this side, um, we have um, a pocket. A pocket. And um, a rose. And we have some tags inside. Um, now this one, which has Inspire on it, is one that I made um, with layering and lace and flower and book paper and music paper. And um, also there's another piece of ephemera that I found in my investigations and you can see there's a whole range of different corsets. If you like this thing, um, you know, you have a lovely resource in this little book. Okay, so I've done that page and that page and let's turn over. Okay. Is it in frame? Yeah. There we go. Uh, we have another deep pocket, which I've decorated. There's another um, bead charm. And we have another little booklet with this gorgeous image on it. And inside there are the same. We have lots of paper for uh, journaling and there's a paper bag and there's um, a glassine bag and um, there's a doily and there's a tuck or oh, belly band I hope and that's from the kit when I saw it I wasn't quite sure well how was I going to use that and 
and then I thought, well, actually, these pages are quite narrow. It would fit as a belly band, so there you go. I was quite pleased with that. So, another booklet, so when you finished uh, writing in the other one, you've got another one to carry on with. And then you've got this lovely little book that you can store them in. On this page, now I've used all sorts of different laces. I've used doilies, large, small. I've used old lace, uh, new lace. I just haven't been precious about it, you know. And I've also um, all, uh, used little scraps, little bits of things that I have. I have several scrap bags and one of them is absolutely fabulous because it came from Jean Rag and it, it's got so many things, so many treasures and quite a few of the things like this applique and this applique came from that scrap bag. Now here we have some more tags, um, that's a small one. As I made these, um, there's two doilies there and the applique on the top and that's um, made a tuck and this, and look at this one, isn't that gorgeous that uh, um, corset, isn't it beautiful and then we have one with a flower as well so two more tags and one's got laugh and one's got smile because these are things that you want to be encouraged to do don't you? Well, I do. I need the encouragement. <laughs> so, then we turn it over. And we have another... Well, this is an unusual doily that I found. It's a vintage doily. And it was a funny shape. I'm not quite sure what it was used for. But, um... I've made it into a pocket. And this charm uh, is a bird some reason I just felt that it went with this book not quite sure why um, two small tags two, two small tags uh, I've made all the pockets quite deep Ooh, I'm struggling to go in but um, some of them might be a bit difficult to but they will all fit now this one I thought was another piece of ephemera that I found and I thought it looked quite interesting. Um, it's from Goddy's Ladies Book and Magazine. So definitely vintage. <laughs> and it's blank on the back. So you know what you can use that for. Okay, so and then we come to another page and I don't know, but I absolutely love this page, how it turned out. Do you, what do you think? Isn't it, is it, I mean, this is, this is definitely, oh dear, what's happening there? This is definitely vintage lace, okay? And then I found these appliques in Jean's scrap bag, well, it's my scrap bag, <laughs> and um, I just thought it looked lovely on top of the lace. And then I put some, um, some, oh, uh, rhinestones. Yes, they are rhinestones, but they're, um, sort of a pearl colour, I guess is what you would say. And then we have the final booklet. There's three booklets all together. I don't know why everything is sticking to everything, but it is. Um, so this is the final booklet. And again, it's very similar to the other one. There's squared paper there, and um, there's a doily, and plain paper, plenty of papers for writing. Um, I think I worked out that there's about 24 pages in each of the small journals. And again, I've done another belly band there. And, um, you know, plus the pockets uh, and bags. Oh dear. everything seems to want to stick together today and um, so I mean if you add up the, all, all that it's quite a lot really and then we have 
uh, at the crafting bag at the end with the squared paper. Now this one I think is a bit tight, but um, it may have come apart there, but I'll uh, sort that out. And then here we come to the last page. Now before <laughs> I show you, I did make another corset. Um, I was just, just so surprised by the uh, response I got when I shared that corset on um, uh, junk journal junkies. That I um, I was really overwhelmed by it. It was I was just so jo so pleased that I did decide to make another one, but completely different different colours anyway, that I used the same kind of format. Um, and I quite like this how this one turned out. I deliberately wanted to put a bit of colour in it and um, and that lace that I used, I think it was just, just perfect. And this one I've stuck together at the top and the bottom. It is slightly different shape. Um, and then there are two tags uh, in, in inside um, there. And then there's um, some beads on here as well. Um, and then we have go back a bit. <laughs> we have this page, and on this page, I've used a clip. I think I don't know what they're called, but anyway, I called a clip. And I've got you've got a tag that I made. And I think I made four tags all together, and they should all be in the book. And then you have this envelope, which was in the scrapbooking collection, and um, with the with its own uh, journal card. And uh, I added this um, bell code so that it could stay closed. And I just think it's lovely. And I didn't want to put make a pocket, so I I used the clip to put it on, but if I show you, this is one of the doilies that I found and it's really gorgeous and it's a shame that I've actually had to cover it up with this because it's got these little colour um, bits inside, flowers I suppose all the way round and uh, it's very vintage and uh, I just thought it was lovely maybe I should have put this on a different page but uh, never mind um, and so that's it. I haven't gone mad and put lots of dangles on. I could have done. But I didn't think it was that type of book really. And then we have the back with my label on. Um, and um, there we go. And I've talked too long. And I made too long a video as usual. Well, I hope you like it. It is for sale, and the usual thing is to email me, and uh, I look forward to hearing from someone who's interested. I leave my email in the description box, and uh, oh, I will put the dimensions. I've forgotten to do that again. And thank you for watching. See you again soon.